Combine two of our region strengths, the life sciences and supply chain management, and you get Seco MedTech Fulfillment Solutions. Seco MedTech is betting on the continued growth of life sciences companies here, uh, and they've been vested in a new contract manufacturing and logistics facility right here in our region. Seco MedTech recently cut the ribbon on that new facility. One of the company's customers uh, is Circadians, and David Grohl is the CEO. Uh, Robert Shearer is Managing Director of Seco MedTech, which is based here in our region out in State College. And welcome, good to have you both here. Great, Great to be here. here. I'll talk a little bit more about uh, Seco MedTech and managing logistics, but first a little about Circadians. What is it? You guys are out in export, right? In That's right. We make face masks for the treatment of sleep apnea. Okay. And our masks are different than the conventional mask because uh, conventional CPAP masks are made of hard plastic and ours are made entirely of cloth, which makes them light, soft, and very comfortable. So you hear some people who have that, that kind of sleeping disorder, they, they get tired of the mask and they throw it aside. So you've come up with a, a better mask, right? We don't make CPAP systems, we make CPAP systems work. Hmm. About half of the people that get uh, diagnosed with sleep apnea and prescribed for CPAP end up not complying with their therapy and the number one reason is that they can't tolerate the hard plastic mask. So we've developed a soft light cloth mask that's a lot more comfortable and gives better compliance for the patients. Very cool. You've been around for seven years, got a global business going. You have how many people doing it? We have 14 employees 14 in our office. 14 people in, supplying in the world? Supply. We sell our products in 30 countries around the world. Unbelievable, but that's why I take it you need sort of a contractor to manage your logistics for you. Uh, we focus our energy on serving our market and we have subcontracted out the, the problem of getting the product shipped out to those customers all around the world. All right, well, so and that's where Seco MedTech fits in. You, you supply that back end, yes? Absolutely, yeah. We're, we're betting on uh, this region and companies like David's by uh, investing in infrastructure that a lot of companies like David's don't have to so that uh, they can focus on their core business. So where, so how does it work with a company like Circadians? What, 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 what are you providing for them? Well, what, what we're providing for Circadians is some infrastructure for logistics, um, logistics uh, uh, processes and procedures. So in, in, on the ground level, we're providing warehouse operations, we're providing uh, physical labor for inspection of their inbound product, for uh, packaging of their outbound product, and then ultimately fulfilling the orders and uh, providing some software connectivity so that uh, there's a nice uh, clean exchange. Well, and I would think you've got to be competing with big global medical device companies so uh, who have the back end, they mm -hmm. have the, the, the internal systems and support. For a smaller company, this would seem to be a real advantage. Well, it, it does give us, it put, levels the playing field with some of the big companies that are in our business. Uh, we're able to provide a very high service level to our customers such that if they call us and place an order with us at uh, before three o'clock, we have the order out that afternoon. So we provide same day shipping, and it's transparent to the customers. They It looks just like it's coming from Circadians. So you, you can get lots of different companies like this together and support them with your network, what they get, the, the benefits of, that some of the giants have? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we call it shared logistics, and essentially hmm. the concept, or sometimes it's called third party logistics. And the concept is simply that we're putting up the same infrastructure that any of the largest companies on the planet might have, uh, but that lots of companies can participate in that infrastructure, utilize it, and frankly, to their customers, they're providing the same great service that uh, they'd get if they were a huge company. Now, tell me a little about the facility you've been investing in here in Pittsburgh over the past couple sure, of years. Sure, yeah, we've actually located in Hopewell, and we've put up a, uh, a physical distribution warehouse for our medical clients, and inside that warehouse, we've even got a class 10,000 clean room where we can do uh, very specialized uh, uh, inspections, uh, some manufacturing procedures, mm -hmm. some uh, sterile kidding, things like that. So supply chain management, actually you can get in touch the manufacturing space as well in some ways. Yeah, actually we're able to do certain parts of outsourced manufacturing process today that probably most supply chains wouldn't do, but we're able to, with this additional infrastructure, um, kind of go further into the supply chain to support our customers. And you think about going into lots of different countries and stuff, you you manage a lot of those headaches on behalf of this company. In this yeah, company absolutely. Company we're able, we've got uh, 150 offices in 45 countries around the world, and we're able to uh, really help them with not only transportation logistics but frankly also the compliance that you might have to do in any country around the world. A growing business for Seco MedTech, what are you seeing around? Yeah, it's, our, it's actually our largest sector, largest fastest growing sector mm -hmm. in the company um, and I think that's there for due to a few reasons. Number one, you know, supply chain infrastructure is needed. There's a big demand for it. The other side of it is a big demand for 
the IT backbone to really give, you know, with all the electronic business that we all do today, that electronic backbone is really critical. And then finally, the compliance side of the business. You know, compliance and regulatory is not getting to be a smaller part of anybody's business, it's only growing. So we're able to support that and give every our customers the, 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 the confidence they need to be able to do business anywhere in the world. And how about your industry? Sleep apnea treatment pioneered here in our region about 40 years ago. Is that market still growing? Is there still opportunity out there? They're estimated to be 54 million people worldwide with moderate to severe sleep apnea and about 80% of them remain undiagnosed. So there is, it's a market that continues to grow and we see growth occurring for a long time to come. Uh, the big challenge of course is getting a product that people will comply with, that they'll, that they'll use each and every night so that they can stay rested and healthy and we help them do that. You gotta love a client like this. Huh? <laughs> you know, Circadius has been terrific to work with because uh, not only does Dave have great product, great people, um, but uh, we're really able to have some of those really productive conversations about, you know, how can we make our mutual businesses better? That's and great. That's terrific. It's a great story. Great to see it happening right here in our region. Robert Shearer from Seco MedTech and uh, David Grohl from Circadians. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we'll be back uh, with more of our region's business in just a moment. Stay with us. <laughs>